Hi, I'm Ellen Oakes. I'm a co-president of the League of Women Voters, Greater Chippewa Valley. And today I am talking to Danielle Johnson, who is a candidate for Assembly District 29 here in Western Wisconsin. Good morning, Danielle. Hi, Ellen. Good out, I, I think it's afternoon or- <laughs> You're right. Yeah, so I'm going to have some questions for you. And we, we have a, about 10 minutes for this. And I'll start with, I'll start right off. Um, we'll be using the same questions for the candidates we're interviewing. So first question is, life expectancy has dropped for Wisconsin citizens in the past year. What steps can the state take to ensure that Wisconsin residents have access to health care that they can afford? Yeah, so um, I, I'm the current uh, uh, chair, board chair of Western Wisconsin Health. And so the health care of communities is something that I am very passionate about. Um, I would say um, as far as, and I think it's an important aspect of government to make sure that people have access to basic needs um, like health care. So um, one thing that I think would be extremely important, especially in the ability to afford health care, is for uh, the Wisconsin to take advantage of uh, Medicaid expansion. So right now, tax dollars are leaving Wisconsin um, and helping other states. Um, and if we would actually uh, keep those those dollars in state, if we expanded Medicare, Medicaid. Thank you. Okay. Um, the next question has to do with schools. Many school districts both urban and rural, are holding referenda to seek funding directly from taxpayers. How should the state fund education equitably for pre-K through 12 students, and how could you play a role in that? So, yeah, the way we are funding schools is becoming, um, unfortunately, even though people say, oh, they, we just, they get more and more money, the fact is, is that we really are not keeping up with the needs of our schools. And and also, when it goes to referendum to for um, increasing property taxes, that decreases uh, the um, it decreases the opportunity for other school districts where uh, people maybe don't have the same financial benefits as other school districts. So I'm definitely in favor of increasing funding on the state level for all schools so that funds can be distributed equitably. Okay, can you, do you have anything to say about um, how we apportion funding to schools currently? Well, they're becoming more and more underfunded. When I talk to uh, even on the university level, um, instructors at um, the University of Wisconsin Stout, uh, one of the main things that they, uh, that they talk about is having to do more and more for, for less and less money. So um, we, I, I am a firm believer that public education is incredibly important to, uh, t for us to attract uh, residents to, to Wisconsin. And if we continue to underfund public education like we are, we cannot expect a bright future. Thank you, okay. So third question, what will ensure Wisconsin residents' confidence. Oh, this is this is a question that's dear to the heart of League of Women Voters. What will ensure West Wisconsin residents' confidence in the integrity of future elections? Um, what will instill confidence in the future of in our election process is when our leaders, and especially our elected leaders, speak the truth. Um, the Right now, um, like for example, our Senator Rob Staffschul is has reiterated several times that people don't have confidence in the electoral process in Wisconsin. And my answer in my head is they would, Senator Rob Staffschul, if you would speak the truth, which says, and the truth is is demonstrable, demonstrably that the 2020 election was fair and um, there was not any widespread fraud of any kind. So it's been, it was as fair as any other election was. 
And as if our elected officials spoke the truth, then people would have confidence in the truth, which is that we have fair elections in Wisconsin. Okay, thank you. Um, question number four, what should be the role of the state in protecting Wisconsin's water for drinking water safety and for the sake of our economy and our environment? How would, how would you as an assembly um, representative be able to help with that? Um, I would make sure that the DNR is adequately funded so that the, um, what they do to help monitor our water, I think, and monitor against um, spills from industrial farming into our water. I also would work to restore um, more local control to especially county governments to be able to do their own monitoring and um, and uh, and reporting. So here in um, the 29th district, we have a we've had an important uh, a, an unfortunate important spill that happened at a in a dairy in in the 29th district, and the self reporting process did not work. We need to actually have more monitoring and be more vigilant because. Clean water is absolutely essential to um, our functioning communities. So we can't live without clean water. Thank you. I have run through my four questions, so I will throw in a ringer. Okay. We, we spoke a little bit about post-secondary education. My question had been about pre-K through 12. Mm -hmm. um, but how should Wisconsin better support post-secondary education, not just the University of Wisconsin, which I'm a product of, but um, um, technical schools and apprenticeship yeah. type things. Do you have an idea about that? Well, yes, I think though, um, I would like to see, you know, so there's certain industries that have a uh, major are facing major worker shortages, the healthcare industry being one. Um, I would like to see expanding education even on the high school and, and technical college level, um, like so that say high school seniors can graduate with a CNA certif certification, that they don't, that they already have like a profession, you know, a way, a direction, a profession going upon, uh, even on graduation from high school. And our, uh, the I would love to see an, an expansion of um, technical college. There's a technical college uh, in um, it's not in the 29th, but it's in our area here, um, Northwoods, and they have a veterinary um, a veterinary technology certification that they just started. Expansion of those fields is really is would be really really helpful to the economy and having educate an educated. Um, workforce is really important to our small businesses and our industry in general. Okay, well, thank you. This has been a, a very productive interview. And, and I want to mention your name again, Danielle Johnson running for Assembly District 29. Thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Ellen. I really appreciate it.